TV and gang, welcome back, welcome back. Sorry I'm doing this in bed, I am exhausted. But we messed up, man, we messed up real bad. So, basically, we're going to go to the Grand... Well, we are going to the Grand Canyon today. And we thought that, you know, it's close to Las Vegas. Should be fine. Literally, I know the two is four hours away. Four hours drive. So, we have to drive there, drive back, which is like a total of eight hours. So, eight hours is taken out of our time in Vegas, which isn't the greatest, but... It is what it is. Obviously, I want to see one of the, the wonders of the world, to be honest. I don't want to miss that out, so. We're going there now. We're just getting ready. I think it's like 8, quarter past 8 in the morning. I mean, I shouldn't be dead to the world, but I think we stayed up until maybe like 3.30 last night, so. Getting ready. We'll get get dressed, all that type of stuff. I'm already dressed, as you can see. Just can't, just can't move. Um, really struggling at this point. But yeah, we'll get ready. And all that type of stuff, and then we'll get up, get going on our way to the Grand Canyon. This is the coolest bit I've ever seen. This shit filling up for me. This is this is the lazy man's way of doing it, but I can't be fucked really, so I'm just gonna let it let it do its thing. Look at this place! Oh my god! Is that one lake? I don't even know what that is. Is that a lake? Is that a salt lake? What is that? It's crazy. Middle of the desert. Why is it here? Go home. So basically, we are <coughs> just about to head into the Grand Canyon. What are you laughing at? <laughs> about to head to the Grand Canyon. I think we got yeah, like what is it? Nine miles left. Ten minutes to go. I think it's been like a four and a half hour drive. So I'm, I'm pretty fucking done with driving at this point. I think I've drove like drove like 13 hours in the past maybe like two days. Probably a little bit more. Probably a little bit more than 13. I'm done with driving, I just want to get to the Grand Canyon, I want to see it. I will show you guys sort of like what it looks like going into the Grand Canyon and then we'll go from there. We have to go and find this this tour place because I have no idea where it is either. I don't know if that's the exact address or not, but I think everything will be pretty close together because it's the Grand Canyon. So we're almost there. We're almost there. This journey has taken forever. Or lifetime passes are also accepted. Right. So we're coming into Grand Canyon now. I don't think it's the like the exact Grand Canyon just yet. Oh my god, this roundabout is backwards. Okay. So we're coming towards the Grand Canyon now. Apparently it's a 30 minute wait. I don't know how we're gonna go. There's not, there's not much here to be honest. Not much here, so we have to find our spot and get behind this car because it's taking 12 years to, to go. Okay, cool. So we are here. I will park. I might get some petrol just before we head off. But yeah, we're, we're here. We're queer. Let's get used to it, I guess. So this is the monster we're going in today. Might not be able to see a lot. I don't know if the windows are, will be down or up, but we'll see how we go. Yeah. 
Small bill, I guess. It's a pretty big. It's a pretty big duck. Not gonna lie. This is, this is so cool. We stopped at the first stop. I think it's called cool Duck on a Rock or something like that. I think Jerry was saying, but crazy, crazy place. We've, I can't even begin to explain how big the Grand Canyon is. I see why it's one of the seven wonders of the world, but wow. So we're walking through some shrubbery right now just to get to the first point. Look at that, look at that, wow, wow. But I didn't bring, I'm wearing easy so it doesn't really help, doesn't really help me, but going to the first lookout point now. Is it just up here? Yeah, we'll keep okay, going cool. up that way. Thank you. Oh, just going up there now. And yeah, take some photos and stuff like that. So we're making our way down the Grand Canyon, um, to the ground floor of the canyon, not really, just joking, but we're walking around, it looks absolutely beautiful from behind me. As you can see, there's a lot of people down there. That's where we're taking the photo, just because of that view there. That view right there is what we're trying to capture. And honestly, photos don't do this place justice, really. They, do, they really don't. I'm trying to take as many photos as I can, but it doesn't, it doesn't do it justice at all. This guy had a really decent shovel. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, this is bigger than the holes that I dig at work, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful nonetheless. Sorry, my hair's terrible at the moment. You didn't tell me it was terrible. You didn't tell me my hair was terrible. Oh my God. There are dinosaur looking flies here, man. I can't, I can't handle this. Flies are like 10 times the size of normal flies. Bees are like four, five, four times the size of regular bees. I mean, this place is historic. It's beautiful, and I'm very privileged to be able to view this. Oh, I'm so unfit right now. I've walked like seven steps and I'm already tired, but we just went to another lookout point. Really beautiful place. I've even got two more to go. Well, I can't believe I'm out of breath. But yeah, we'll see what these different angles look like and all that type of stuff, but it is amazing here. If you get the chance to come here, definitely do it. Point, which is western at Grandview Point. We're going to be making our way back towards the Pipe Creek Vista Overlook is where we're headed back towards. Remember the first overlook we passed coming this way. That is where we're headed to next time. That waterfall. That was Jerry's swimming pool growing up as an audible Indian boy out there. You know, very little is known about it. And they say Grand Falls is bigger than Niagara Falls in New York. So there's a dumb So we're going to take our way to the Yellow Pipe Point, you know, this is the Rocky Mountain Elk, or the most common animal seen here at the Grand Canyon National Park. So I had a third pit stop at the moment, just having a look at the view, obviously, again, beautiful, beautiful views. We're just about to head off, I think, five minutes time, so we're almost done with the Grand Canyon tour, but it's been beautiful nonetheless. I've, I've really enjoyed every minute of it, and... I wouldn't change it for the world, to be honest, even if it was four and a half hours here, four and a half hours back. It's like I attempted to do a jumping a jumping photo, but it didn't really work out. I just looked like a dud in every single one. Skinny arms, gross belly. Everything you don't want in the photo, I pretty much had in the photos. So this is the shoot that you just took a photo of. Where is that good one? Where is that tasty one? It's the next one? No, it's not that one. No. You look like Jesus there. I am Jesus. Where is it? That's the one. Zoom up on that face. 
Look at that. What? <laughs> what am I doing? This is not Queenstown, buddy. You can't just try and ski here. Look at this guy. Look at this man. What is he doing? What is he doing? What are you doing, bro? I can't see it. Why are you skiing this? Like, what are you, what are you shaking, bro? You're not shaking what your mama gave you at all. sugar more sugar why am I doing this I have no fucking clue so on the final pit stop to the Grand Canyon I think we've done literally every every lookout so far I think the bar one because there wasn't any any parking there so we're done here for now once we get back we're gonna make our way back to Vegas and then get ready and get changed and go out there again and see what I find I mean Probably old people trying to beat up security guards again, but we'll see. The last lookout we're going to see. It's a beautiful place, but I think it's time we um, go party and go gamble, I guess. So we just finished up at the Hummer Tours. Um, really good experience, really nice guy. Really nice area, obviously. Grand Canyon is amazing. Very, very beautiful place to be. So basically from here, we're driving back to Vegas. Obviously, it's another four hour drive. I was having micro sleeps in, in the Hummer just to try and make up for the amount of lack of sleep that I've had, but I don't think it's going to really matter. I'm, I'm still going to be tired nonetheless, so we're going to run to Vegas and then we will get ready and get changed and go out again on this trip. Woman's driving for the first time, scared for my life, can't get to sleep. I've had like two hours sleeping, 24 hours it feels like, but she's constantly driving on the wrong side of the road. Um, <laughs> driving over the lines and stuff like that so riding up truck drivers asses and shit so I can't really sleep I'm really really tired and I'm not gonna lie I'm really really fucking tired but I just can't sleep I don't know if I can trust oh shit uh, I don't know if I can trust her I don't know if I can trust her with my life I just don't know this is the first time I've been in the passenger seat of this car Feels good, man, not to have to worry about anything for two and a half hours. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some rest. I'm gonna get some rest and then I'll wake up. And hopefully be refreshed for Vegas. Just getting to Vegas now. So we've just arrived back at the place, gonna get changed, gonna get sorted, and then we're gonna go on the strip again, hopefully to a few clubs. Oh my God, we need to sort out this darkness. There's so much darkness. Um, but yeah, basically, gonna get changed, gonna see how I feel. I may not vlog the rest of it, I'm not too sure yet, but once I get changed, I'll figure it out. And from there, yeah, we'll go to the strip, we'll go for a gamble, a bit of clubbing, stuff like that. And if I don't vlog it, I'll give a bit of a recap anyway, so. We'll see how we feel. I don't really want to be carrying around a tripod and stuff like that to a club, to be honest. So yeah, I'll let you guys know and I will get changed right now. And I'm all changed. So what's happening from here is I'm not going to vlog tonight just because I do want to have a chill out and, and relax. So I've decided not to vlog. I will still obviously vlog tomorrow and stuff like that. Just tonight I want to have a bit of time to relax, gamble, all that type of shit. So... I'll do the outro now, so thank you for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next video. GVN, play that back, boy.